Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and it is time for another Build A Palette Remix video. I recently did a video just like this using my Melt Cosmetics palettes. I will link it over here so you can check it out. And this time around I am using my ColourPop palettes. So the idea behind this video is that I am grabbing pre-existing palettes from certain brands and remixing my own color story from those multiple palettes. So these palettes have removable pans, they're magnetized so I can pop them in and out, remix them, shuffle them around as I see fit without damaging the actual palette so I don't have to go through the heating and melt in the palettes. These pop right out because they're magnetized and then you can pop them right back in. So I am grabbing these different palettes and mixing up the color stories, picking out my favorite shades and building my own palettes. So like I said, we did that with the Mel Cosmetics palettes and I am going to do that with my recent pickups from ColourPop. Pickups? Does that sound right? No. My recent purchases from ColourPop. So I had completely cleared out my collection of ColourPop palettes, okay? I couldn't deal. I didn't want the little palettes anymore. I just couldn't, okay? But I've since like kind of started getting back into smaller palettes and I picked up six of their nine pan eyeshadow palettes. They also had a sale so that was kind of intriguing. Plus they had like cool tone palettes that I wanted to get my hands on. The point is, okay, the point is I picked up six of their nine pan palettes and I wanted to remix it, pick out the shades that I found the most appealing and create my own color story. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. So do you get the idea? I think you get the premise. We're going to jump into this video and I'm going to show you swatches of all the palettes first because in the last video I didn't do that and I felt like it would be a good addition to this palette. So let's go ahead and jump into these ColourPop palettes. I have six of them and then we'll go in and pick out my favorite shades and build my own palette. All right, so here are all six of the palettes up close that I recently picked up from ColourPop. So these are six of their nine pan eyeshadow palettes. I have two of the plastic ones, so I believe these are the monochrome palettes. And then I have four of the cardboard packaging ones, which I actually prefer. I don't need a mirror, so we can save that for recycling. And the cardboard ones to me are just, I don't know, they're sleeker. Anyway. Here are the palettes. I'm going to show you swatches of each of the palettes. I'm going to show you them up close so you can see what I'm working with. So the first palette up is the Baroque palette. This is a new palette. It's a cool tone palette. It has grays and taupes and silvers. I love this palette. I needed to grab it because cool tones are right up my alley and this is the perfect cool tone palette. And then the other palette that I knew I wanted to get was That's Taupe. This is also a cool tone palette, but it has taupes. I love taupes. So automatically this palette had to come home to me. And this one has very nudie neutral shades and then a couple of shimmers. Then we have the Going Coconuts palette. This is also a neutral palette and a lot of people say great things about this palette. So I figured I would add it to my collection just to have as reference, but also to see what the hype was all about. Then we have the Blowing Smoke palette. I know this one has been renamed, but this is their gray tone black and white palette, like a smoky palette. And a lot of people also love this palette and it also has cool smoky tones, so right up my alley. So I picked this one up as well. And then the next palette I picked up is the Little Ray of Sunshine palette, which is an all matte, warm tone, yellow mustard palette. And I, listen, when I saw this palette, I was like, I have to get it. I don't love, love warm tones, but I love good mustard shades. And this one is an all matte palette, which I love all matte palettes. So I was like, all right, I'm intrigued. Let me see about this one. So I grabbed that one as well. And then the final palette I got is the Nude Mood palette. Now you might be wondering why I picked up all these nude palettes. I wanted them for reference and they looked cute and the sale and stuff. So this is a nude palette. This one has warmer tones and then some golden shades. So it's a great nude palette as well. And we're gonna go ahead and remix these six palettes. Now, as I mentioned, what I want to do is go ahead and kind of pick out my favorite shades from these palettes and make my own palettes. So let's jump into it. I already did the swatches and I already have a feeling for some of my favorite shades. And right away, I'm going into the Baroque palette. 
and I'm grabbing out the shades that are absolutely stunning. I should probably label these. Oh my God, I'm gonna label these once I just grab them out. So I'm gonna grab out the ones from each palette that I like and go from there. All right, so I have removed the shades from all the palettes that are like speaking to me, but I'm still gonna keep the palettes next to me just in case I wanted to grab anything else. But we're gonna try to put together a fun color story from the shades that I picked because these are my favorite shades. And I know I'm mixing like cool and warm shades, but we're gonna see how this all goes. How many shades did I choose? I actually ended up with 19 shades. Should we try to reduce it more or just go with these 19? Honestly, truly, I don't know. Let's, let's figure it out. All right, let me try to organize these in some kind of way. So we have a white one. Then we have these two grays. We don't need, but oh my God, these look almost exactly identical. So we definitely don't need both of those. We have these two deeper grays again. We don't need all of those. Those look very, very close to each other. Let's see these deeper taupey shades. I like all of those. Here's our black and here's our, ooh, that alone looks beautiful, but let's go ahead. We have this shade, we have the mustard and maybe the yellow is too much. I kind of want to keep it though, cause it's different. And we have these frosty shades and then we have these browns. I actually think these look great together. I'm not gonna lie to you, oh my God. All right, so we're definitely, I think, keeping the black and white. I just want to keep the black and the white. Let's see, do we need to though? The white is pretty nice. I wanna keep that. Let's see the two grays and see which one, the light grays and see which one we wanna keep. This is from the Smoke palette and this is from the Baroque palette. So they both, ooh. Okay, I'm keeping the Baroque one just because this one looks white next to the white and this one definitely translates more gray. So, okay, this one's out. Let's look at the two dark grays. Again, I think, yep, Smoke and Baroque. So I think we might go with the Baroque one because the Baroque one seems like it may be a better formulation than, well, let's see. Okay, so one is just slightly deeper and that's the Smoke one. So I think I'm gonna go with the Smoke one just because it is deeper. Okay, we have our black. So our black looks like Zeese. It's a good little black, I like it. I'm definitely keeping this blue shade, this dark blue. I think that is stunning and that shade in a smoky look, amazing. All right, let's look at the shimmer shade. So we have this taupe shade. Mm, I like it, I'm not in love. Okay, let's try this silvery shade. I feel like we might need a silver in this lineup and then this deeper silver. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this one because I think that pairs well with that bluey shade and it also will pair well with the other tones. So got rid of a couple there, wow. All right, so we're down to these shades. I don't think I need both of these dark browns. They look very similar. Let's, what? yeah, those are very, like those are almost exact, come on now. I'm gonna keep this one, it just, applies a little richer to me. So I'm gonna get that one and it has more of a gray tone to it. Oh, we're already keeping that one. So we have a brown and I feel like we should keep this taupey blending shade as well. Yeah, I definitely wanna keep that one because I think that will pair well with, look at these three shades together. Those would work well together. So I'm gonna keep those. Let me try the bronzy shades oh that's pretty i like that and then 
the more gold ooh I definitely like this one I'm gonna keep this one in mind because I like it as well and then let's do this dark purpley one Ooh, I want that too so that can play off the blue one we have a blue and like a more purple one and then should we keep that bronze or is it too too different let's see this warmer mustard shade because I want to keep a little bit of warmth I don't know I just like the shade the yellow and then the mustard these are from the sunshine palette see now mm, I feel like this doesn't really tie in but these shades together could tie in so I'm gonna get rid of that and keep that all right so here's what we're left with and here's what we got rid of over here just so you can keep an eye on that so we got rid of six shades and we are down to how many so we have 13 shades here and I'm not mad at that I even think these together are cute but let's try should we try to now I mean honestly truly if I just got rid of these three shades we would have 10 and that would be sufficient and I think that would make a beautiful cool tone palette and then we have a couple other options here right so this would be my palette of choice should we go ahead and swatch it out let's swatch it out so we have a matte white right that's beautiful with a more cool tone taupey brown that we can use as a blend in transition shade and then we also have this lighter gray shade that we can also use as a transition shade but we can also use it all over the lid then we have this cool tone gray shade which is a deeper like cement gray that is stunning as well right and then let's swatch the black since you know it goes with that gray scheme so there are the first five which looks stunning already then we have the other mattes i'm a matte lover so we have this cool tone like mauvey brown shade which i think is gorgeous we have this deep coconut brown which is stunning and do you see how it coordinates with this neutral brown right and then we have of course the deep smoky blue that I think is stunning and then we have the two shimmer shades so we have this snaky bronze shade so it's a bronze but it's a lighter bronze and then we have this smoky gray taupe that's a little bit on the silver side but it still has a little bit of taupiness to it so there you have it that is my 10 pan palette from ColourPop this was a quick and fun video to do these are my final shades I think this would make a beautiful cool tone dark smoky palette I think this is great I love it let's look for pairing up these shades so right here is a beautiful gray look this all over the lid this just on the outer lid and then this to deepen up a little bit and smoke it out or you can do a more neutral look over here so this on the lid this in the crease this to deepen up a little bit or even the blue to deepen up a little bit but the blue can go with the silver as well to deepen up that silver and then the brown goes with this bronze right and then of course the silver can go with the gray the black and the light gray and then we have this more mauvey tone purple that can go also with the silver do you see i love this selection hopefully you guys also enjoyed picking out these shades from six random color pop palettes that i just picked up i had fun doing that and picking out my little color story to suit my little cool tone heart 
All right, guys, what do you think? What do you think of the shades that I picked out for my own palette? Let me know, like, give me the feedback. Let me know, come on now. Um, this one was a little bit trickier to navigate because I had a ton of neutral palettes and then a ton of cool tone shades as well. So I kind of ended up with a mostly cool tone palette because the warm tones didn't quite fit in, but then I liked those warm tones as well. You saw the dilemma that I went through, okay? But I think I came up with a pretty decent cool tone palette. I really love the shades that I selected and I'm gonna enjoy using these palettes for sure. I'm definitely gonna enjoy them. So hopefully you guys also enjoyed this video and picking out my favorite shades with me and building a remix palette because you know it's fun to play in your existing collect. Although this wasn't existing I actually per The point is I didn't purchase these palettes for this video. I actually picked them up to try them out anyway and it just so happens that it fits into this video. So go ahead and play with your own collection. Build your palettes from your existing palettes with removable pants, or if you have singles, play around with those too. See what you come up with because you may surprise yourself and come up with a really great color story. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and leave links to where you can pick them up. So I think you can pick some of these up on Ulta and then also on the ColourPop website. I'll leave that link below. And I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye guys.